Hey, this is Presh Tollwalker. ABC is a triangle with a right angle at B. Let AQ be the angle bisector of A, and let AQ have length equal to 9. Let CP be the angle bisector of C with length equal to 8 root 2. The question is what is the length of AC, the hypotenuse of the triangle? I thank Deepanch and David for the suggestion. Pause the video if you'd like to give this problem a try, and when you're ready, keep watching to learn how to solve this problem. This is an extremely challenging problem, and I admit I wasn't able to solve it. I posted it on Twitter for help, and I want to thank everyone who replied. In particular, I want to thank Raidoy and Peter Lee, who sent a trigonometric solution, which I will present in this video. To get started, let BAQ be equal to theta. Then since we have an angle bisector, QAC is also equal to theta. Now in triangle ABQ, we have AB is equal to AQ multiplied by the cosine of theta. Now we know AQ is equal to 9, so AB is equal to 9 cosine theta. Now since triangle ABC is a right angle triangle, angle C and angle A add up to 90 degrees. This means C is equal to 90 degrees minus 2 theta. Since we have an angle bisector, each of these angles will be half of that, so each of them will be equal to 45 degrees minus theta. Now consider triangle BPC. Here we have BC is equal to CP multiplied by the cosine of 45 degrees minus theta. We know the length of CP is equal to 8 root 2. We can then use the cosine formula for the difference of angles. We now evaluate cosine of 45 degrees is equal to sine of 45 degrees is equal to 1 divided by root 2. We put that in and then we distribute, so we get BC is equal to 8 cosine theta plus 8 sine theta. Now, let's consider the entire triangle ABC. BC divided by AB is equal to the tangent of 2 theta. We can then use the double angle formula to get that this is equal to 2 tangent theta divided by 1 minus tangent squared theta. So let's just look at these equations. From the equations for BC and AB, let's take BC divided by AB. We can then divide through by 9 cosine theta, so we get that BC divided by AB is equal to 8 ninths tangent theta plus 8 over 9. We now have two different equations that are equal to BC divided by AB, so we can set them equal to each other. So we have 2 tangent theta divided by 1 minus tangent squared theta is equal to 8 over 9 tangent theta plus 8 over 9. Let U be equal to tangent of theta. So we can substitute in here. We now have one equation just in the variable u. We'll now simplify this equation. We'll multiply both sides by 1 minus u squared. Then we'll multiply both sides by 9. Then we will distribute and move everything over to one side. So we have a cubic equation. 4u cubed plus 4u squared plus 5u minus 4 is equal to 0. How can we solve this cubic equation? One thing is we can look for rational roots. By the rational root theorem, we can have the following candidates. We want the factors of the constant term, so the factors of 4 will be 1, 2, and 4. And we want to divide that by the factors of the leading term, so this will be the factors of 4 on u cubed. So we want plus or minus 1, 2, and 4 divided by 1, 2, or 4. So this leads to the following candidates. We have plus or minus 1, 1 half, 1 over 4, 2, and 4. So we can try out these candidates, and we actually get lucky here. We get that u is equal to 1 over 2 is a solution to the cubic equation. Great. So what do we do from here? So we know that u minus 1 over 2 is a factor of the cubic equation. So we can do polynomial division, and this is equal to a quadratic equation, 4u squared plus 6u plus 8. We now factor this cubic equation. One factor is u minus 1 half. The other factor is the quadratic equation. So from the first factor, we have the root 1 over 2. 
we can use the quadratic formula to get the roots of the quadratic equation, they end up being complex roots. Now, since u is equal to tangent theta, we want to limit this to u equaling 1 half. So we'll get rid of these extraneous roots. So we figured out that u is equal to 1 half. This is equal to tangent of theta. Let's now solve for cosine theta and sine theta. So let's set up a triangle where theta is here. We have 1 over 2, which is equal to the tangent of theta. This means the hypotenuse is the square root of 1 squared plus 2 squared, which is equal to square root of 5. Therefore, cosine of theta is equal to 2 divided by the square root of 5, and sine of theta is equal to 1 divided by the square root of 5. We go back to our original setup, and we have equations for AB and BC, but we know what cosine theta and sine theta are now. So AB is equal to 9 cosine theta, we substitute in, and we get that AB is equal to 18 divided by root 5. We have an equation for BC in terms of cosine theta and sine theta. We substitute in and simplify to get that BC is equal to 24 divided by root 5. We know what AB and BC are equal to, so we get that AC is equal to the square root of the sum of the squares of AB and BC. We substitute in, we get the square root of 18 squared divided by 5 plus 24 squared divided by 5. We do a little bit of arithmetic, and we get that AC is equal to 6 root 5, which is approximately equal to 13.416. And that's the answer. Thanks for making us one of the best communities on YouTube. See you next episode of Mind Your Decisions, where we solve the world's problems one video at a time.